Hello there. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to take ears and tails and other parts from an avatar and move them onto a new one. This is a request in one of my videos and I decided to go ahead and show that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take the ears and the tail off of this model here that you see and put them on another model uh, that I have already prepared uh, in another blender. Um, so the first step is find a model with a you know tail and cat ears or whatever type of animal etc that you want you can have horns um, wings etc um, I went ahead and used a free for VR chat model off of uh, Nico video and I'll provide a link to this down in the comments below it comes with a blender and unity file and you can just open it up and follow along uh, so what I'm gonna do is to get started I'm gonna go and I've already uh, prepared the model a little bit after opening the blender document and I'm gonna separate everything by material uh, and see what all is left so I'm gonna hide the bones I'm gonna click on the clothing when I hit edit mode it shows that none of this has to do with the tail uh, or ears um, unless I wanted to also take the little bells and stuff but I'm not going to be taking any of the accessories I'm only going to be taking the um, ears and the tail so I'm going to click on the body as well and see what we got here. All right, so I'm going to delete the body. And left is the tail and the hair. The thing that we're going to have to most likely separate, and that's usually going to be what's going to happen, is the hair will share the material with the ears and cattail. So let's see here. Actually, this is more of a fox. But uh, So I'm going to just delete this. I'm going to delete the eyes and everything so all that's left is this now I could just export this and move this entire thing onto the new model but I'm gonna try to do just the ears uh, so we're gonna use the hair that's on the other model so I'm gonna show you how to remove this hair here so to do this I'm going to open up edit mode here and uh, that, you do that by when you have the mesh uh, selected you hit tab uh, you'll be able to see down here using uh, my screencast what exactly I'm pressing on if you want to follow along. But I'll do my best to mention what I'm clicking on. So I'm going to hit C to open up a little circle, and you can use scroll wheel to change the size. And I'm going to select some vertices. If I hit Control L, normally by default it uses normal to select what I selected. But I'm going to try using UV map. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the ears are mapped straight into the hair here. Uh, so this might be a bit more difficult. Um, so we're going to have to, I'm going to start with just the tail. So I'm going to click on all the vertices in the tail. And the entire tail is now selected when I hit Control L. Because I'm selecting by UV map. I'm going to hit P and hit Selection. And that will separate it by Selection. So now the tail is a separate mesh. And now I'm going to work on getting rid of this hair. So I'm going to click the little alfalfa sprout here. And uh, since I don't need to worry about blend shapes, I'm just going to delete the shape keys off of it and delete the hair. I'm just going to keep going through here and selecting everything I can. Uh, I, I, one interesting way of doing this would be you can click this little button down here that's uh, two little squares with dots called Limit Selection to Visible, and that'll show you the vertices through the object. Um, and if you on your numpad, you hit uh, 7, it will center from above, and then you hit 5 to change the way you're viewing. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to hit 5, rotate this using the numpads, and you can see down there which ones I'm hitting. Um, and now it's going to be straight, and I'm going to hit, actually, I'm going to hit the period button on the numpad to center it as well. I'm having a bit of trouble. There we go. All right, so now that we're straight on here, I'm holding Shift to use the middle mouse wheel to scroll up, and then I'm going to... Select just this vertice. All right, so that. I'm going to try to just select the hair here. Here, let me actually select these ones right here. All right, so that's selecting some of the ears still. So I'm going to hit the middle mouse button when on the selection to unselect the vertices. I'm going to do this all around the ear here.
Now, as I do this, another thing most people will do is just go to DeviantArt or some other source and just download cat ears and tails that are already uh, pre-made. Um, those are a bit common, and you might not actually have permission to do that, so I'm, I'm trying to show a way um, that uh, will be permitted um, by the creator of the actual model, because uh, I try to do my best to avoid um, copyright claims, etc., and I would suggest that too in the future, because you never know when VRChat might add some sort of store for avatars. All right, so here we go. I've uh, almost selected the complete area that I want. Let me do this. So once you select everything, I'm going to change the clip distance here so I can get closer. I'm going to hit, uh, I believe I've selected everything that I want. Uh, let me see if there's anything selected inside here. All right, I'm going to hit the P key to select selection and separate that. I'm going to hide it and see if there's anything missing. There's nothing missing. However, there is some more that i got to clean up, but I'm just going to delete the hair now. And this was the tail, which we still need, so I'm just going to double-click and name that tail so I don't lose it. All right, so now I'm just going to click these remaining areas. All right, and that looks like the best we're going to do here in terms of getting those ears separated. All right, so I'm going to hit uh, Control S. Actually, I don't want to save over top of my other one. So I'm going to uh, go up to save and make this as just a ear tail and make that a one file. And then I'm also going to – here's the most important part, though. So I'm going to go to export uh, model here. Uh, I usually export using this here. Uh, but you can also use export model in the cats plugin and i'm going to save this out as an fbx and then we're going to go over to the other um, character that i'm going to add this to now that i'm on the other character i already took a liberty of making the bow its own mesh so i can disable that as well as the uh, bunny ear sort of things that are coming off of the headset um, so i can add this cattail and stuff and have the space to do so. So I'm going to go to import. Um, in fact, you can just hit import model in your cats plugin. I'm going to navigate to where I saved out the cattail. It should be in here somewhere. All right. And we're going to bring that in. It looks like it's in a completely different angle, however. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Fix model, uh, and I'm going to make sure I switch to the new armature. Fix model. All right, it can't find the textures either, so let me go to external data, find missing files, and navigate to the texture folder of the model. So then you hit find missing files, and it should find the files. But of course, um, because I'm recording a tutorial, it's not going to work. So what I've got to do is my, I might have to manually find... Oh, they're PSDs. Maybe that's why. Or they were embedded in the actual document itself. That might be the other thing. So let me see if I can just click on this hair PSD here and bring it in. Yes, okay. So I can bring in the PSD. That's fine. All right. So now, as you see, it doesn't actually match up. One is rendering in a totally different direction. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on the armature here. And I'm going to hit uh, rotate. And I'm just going to rotate this while holding. I, if I hold, uh, you'll notice down the bottom left, if you hold the control key while you're rotating, it goes in increments of five. So I'm just going to rotate until it's at, it should be a 90. Negative 90. We'll actually put it and align it with the avatar here. And I'm going to go to 
show more options and hit apply transform so it stays in place. All right, so now let me, while this is still selected, I'm going to also go ahead and hit zero weights to remove anything that's not bone weighted. Let's see here. Because I don't want any extra bones in here, so I'm going to go to the left wrist, right wrist, and the feet. I'm going to select all these. And I'm going to click two parents so that those merge in. You can also just delete them. Um, now comes the part where I'm going to move everything to position using pose mode. Make sure that you are selected on the armature of the uh, cattail and everything. You hit start pose mode. Now while in pose mode, you only want to select the other skeleton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the other one as well as the parts that I am not going to be needing. All right, so now I'm going to click on the head bone. Actually, let me actually start with the. It might be smarter to start with the tailbone. Let me first see by moving just the tailbone. All right, so, so a bit of it is weighted to the hip, which is good. So we're going to move the hip into place. And this is uh, called. I'm going to merge this to parents. Actually, this is actually the hips. Okay, so let me move this forward. I'm going to move this until the tail is in place. All right, so that looks about right, and that's where I want the tail to be rooted at, right about there. And you can also click on the base bone, and, you know, you can make the tail much bigger. You can also rotate it. I'm going to do that just a little bit right now. So there we go. The tail is poking up a bit. Then I'm going to click on the chest bone. And shrink that down until the ears are closer to the head. And I'm going to click on the head bone and move that into place right about there. Move that up some. All right, so the cat ears are pretty much where I want them. And always to center, you can hit the period key on the numpad. So you can center and zoom in around the object. Let's see. Get these a little bit better. I'm going to move this down, maybe up some. All right. So I like how those are placed. So I'm going to hit apply rest pose. And this will put those exactly where I put them. Uh, now we want to merge the objects together. And because the bones are all named the same, I'm going to be able to just merge them automatically. So if you go to custom model creation tab, you can uh, make sure the base model is the actual model and make sure the two merge is the uh, cat tail and ears. And you hit merge armature. And then boom, now they're one model, as you can see here on the right. Uh, now that about does it in terms of just adding the parts. You can also do that with horns and everything else. However, um, not every cat tail and every cat ear is created equal. So sometimes, for example, this one will be fine. Um, as I showed you earlier, when I moved this tail, there's some of it was still attached to the body. So if I grab it and just completely move it away, it's not completely detached from the body because part of the tail, the base, is actually bone weighted to the hip. And that's um, that's what you want uh, for tails and ears because you want the bases of them to be bone weighted to the object they're attached to. Because what would happen is if that base of the tail was not connected to the hip, uh, it would kind of just flap off the body um, when you have dynamic bones. And that same thing can be said for the ears. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach the parts from before that I was talking about. Let's see the bunny ears and so I'm going to select the bunny ears and the bow and detach those so I can give you a better example here. So now if I go into pose mode, I can click on the, looks like it named it Mimi here. So that's connected again to the head so no matter how far the bone leaves the head it is attached uh, now if you find ears and a tail that are not like that the way to fix that would be you click on the tail and i'm going to just uh, hit Control l to get everything and then zoom and view through the model so you'll see that there's going to be a, a, the base right so that this line right here is the base of the tail so i'm going to hold i believe it's a uh, shift and alt and then right click on the loop here and it'll select that entire loop that is attached to the hip 
Now, I'm going to drag it in slightly to the model just in case. But uh, what you want to do is down here, you'll have these vertex groups that you just saw me using. You can actually go down to the hip bone. And you'll see this slider down here called weight. Now, by default, weight will be at 1. That means that if I hit the assign key, it'll actually apply the bone weight of that those vertices I have selected to the hip bone. And so when the hip moves, that area will be 100% bone weighted to the hip. Now, as of right now, it was already correct, but uh, if this was moving away with the bone for the tail, I would want to bone weight this 100% weight to the hip. Uh, so I'd click that, and then when the hip moves, uh, you'd see bone weight will now show up. So on this here, the bone weight is going to be inside on that. Actually, in fact, oh, I see. Let me find the bone from before, because uh, it's actually connected to this um, bip hips bone, which is technically supposed to be connected to the hip bone. So I'm going to click on that and merge that in real quick. So I can show you what the bone weight should be looking like here. Um, so I'll, I'll click on the mesh again, go to texture, bone weight. Now you see this is what you're going to want. See how that's red when it's inside the hip? That's because the tail is actually connected to the body. Um, same with up here, uh, when you see the chest is this color, same with the spine is that because the vertex groups are actually the bone weight and that's where it moves. That's why when you have that ring selected, same with the ears, you would bind those to the head. Uh, you want that so that when you, uh, move the tail, it's actually connected to your body, not just flapping off. And you would do that with horns and everything else. And same with the wings. Um, uh, but that should about cover it. Um, I've had other I have other tutorials on like uh, texturing and stuff that you can watch. Um, as you can see, obviously this is a purple tail, um, but you can always go in there and find the texture and bring it into Photoshop and make sure it change. You know, it's using the correct color orange uh, for this model, for example. Um, uh, but that yep, that about covers it. I do appreciate you guys watching. If you have any other requests for tutorials, uh, feel free to watch um, next week. I might be teaching you how to add a keyboard to your avatar uh, that was created by a uh, player named Yash. So instead of using a pen tool, you'll actually be able to have a keyboard on your avatar and press it and letters will float. Um, so I got to learn how to do that a bit better before I teach you guys how to do that, however, so um, you mutes can communicate better and also have an avatar that's uh, lower, uh, uh, better inside the performance ranking system. But um, you guys have a great one. Thanks for watching.